I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will evaluate few expressions regarding factorials. Question is calculate each factorial. The first one is 4 factorial then we have part B 5 factorial minus 2 factorial and then we have division 10 factorial divided by 8 factorial. So let us understand what is 4 factorial. As you know factorial notation means multiply consecutive positive integers from 1 to the number. So it is 4 factorial that really means 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 right. So that is the answer. So it's a short form of writing all that. You could have written this as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 also right. Both are correct. So 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24. So the answer is 24 for us. Now we have 5 factorial minus 2 factorial. So basically, we'll find what 5 factorial is and then find what 2 factorial is and then we can do the takeaway. Well, that is a method you could always adopt. So the method will be, let me write down here, um, as 5 factorial will be, we could write this as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, take away 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1, right? So that is what it is. So you could multiply, use calculator, find the answer, right? You would also do like this. You can take 2 times 1, which is 2, as a common factor, right? So you take 2 as a common factor. You're left with 5 times 4 times 3 minus 1. You get the idea, right? So this is a technique which will help you solve a bit complicated questions, right? So, so I'll explore this one. Of course, you will get the same answer. So 5 times 4 is 20. 20 times 3 is 60. 60 minus 1 is 59. Correct. So when you multiply this, you get 2 times 9 is 18, 1. So 2 times 5 is 10 and 1, 11. So 1, 1, 8 is your answer. Right. So that is another way of doing it. You could straight away find the answer also. Now let us do 10 factorial divided by 8 factorial. Of course, one way is you can calculate what 10 factorial is, which is 10 times, 9 times, 8 times, 7 times, 6 times, 5 times, 4 times, 3 times, 2 times, 1 divided by 8 times, 7 times, 6 times, 5 times, 4 times, 3 times, 2 times, 1, right? You can calculate the values using the calculator. Easy option is, you see this part, which is kind of common, right? So you can cancel this out. So in a way, when we will do more complicated questions, we will write 10 factorial as 10 times 9 times 8 factorial. This part is 8 factorial, divided by 8 factorial. And now we will cancel 8 factorial. Do you see that? So the answer is, 10 times 9 equals to 90, right? So this dot is representing product for me, right? So this is a very efficient way of solving such questions. So I hope with this you learn the techniques. We'll do slightly more complicated questions with factorials in the coming videos. Thank you and all the best.